morning boys um, I think we're in Beaverton right now um, getting a U-Haul then we're driving to Newburgh which is like an hour away then we are uh, picking up our next project car it's a uh, X-Drag car it's gonna be a revival it's been sitting for like 15 years so gonna hook up the trailer and then I'll uh, see what I can film over there straighten out that, that's fine so this is the I guess you could say barn find 68 Mercury Cougar XR7 all original X drag car uh, yeah barn find except in a garage it's been sitting since 2005 so we're gonna get it resurrected after 15 years give you a little walk around. As you saw, it's definitely a revival. Um, I'm ready to do it. Uh, like I said, it's an ex-drag car. 
The guy I bought it from uh, raced a Mercury Capri, a real boat. His was all original, had a built 351 in it. Uh, he took it down the drag strip, a uh, 65-year-old gentleman, um, and he had a wife. She wanted a drag race. Found this uh, from a kid in their town, bought it, put uh, hooker headers and new exhaust all the way back. Uh, it has a Holly 750 double pumper. Um, and I think that's really the only mods they did. Um, but yeah, original engine, original three-speed auto, original paint, original interior. It's all original, 144,000 miles, but it's good for being a 68. Also got some 275 uh, width radials to uh, slap on the back and uh, burn some rubber with. But it's about 3 o'clock now. Sun's already getting pretty low. I'm gonna pull the battery and pull some other stuff, go to the auto parts store and uh, get what I need and then we can see how far we get today. I have a uh, 17 gallon tank. I got two five gallon buckets, and uh, we'll see where this gets us. Definitely do this in your spare time. I think the tank's empty. <coughs> There's a drain plug in the corner of the uh, gas tank. So uh, we're gonna do that. Pulled the drain plug and uh, the tank's empty. So uh, I'm gonna check the lines uh, just to see if I can fill it up in the future. Made the uh, guy at the auto parts store run around for about 15 minutes looking for these studs. And uh, looks like they'll work. 
You know, I've never put studs on before, so it's probably the way to do it. I'm just going to use what was on it. Oh, yeah. All right, now we're going to see if I can squeeze this holly on. Now to go under that rattle line. Huh. I'm gonna go a little something like this. You know, I'm really hoping she'll fire up. It shouldn't be too hard, but I've never done one of these revivals before. Truth be told, it's my first Ford. And I hear that uh, a lot of these things give you bad luck. I believe it's a half inch. Would you look at that? I'm going to tell you a little something about the distributor. Now, this is a 68 Ford 302. Um, Ford, being Ford, they changed the firing order um, on their engine box in some year before the 90s. Um, so, with these, this year, it spins counterclockwise. It goes one, uh, five, four, two, six, three, seven, eight. Now it goes one on the passenger side to four, and then five on the driver side to eight. So I'm gonna check our wires. This is one, five, yeah, four, uh, two. One, five, four, two, six, three, seven, eight. So one, five, four, two, six, three, seven, eight. We're good there. Um, I gotta mount the coil. Uh, there's a second coil wire. Um, yeah, I don't know where I'm supposed to mount the coil yet. May is uh we'll put this bad girl in here while we're at it. Look at that. Perfect fit. So uh snug her down. Put him on. Should I check a spark later? Let's see. I'll check it if this socket fits. Yeah. Nope. They're good. Mint. All right. I think I've got it all figured out. Um, got the coil on, um, kind of lightly. Uh, wires are out of the way. Um, I'll hook up the battery. Got my fire extinguisher. Um, let's see. I'm gonna put a little bit of oil on the top end, but it's filled otherwise. has tranny fluid and should be good just to get it started. Alright, we 
we're getting it going. Just gotta get it going until it starts pulling fuel from the uh And it's getting fuel from the uh, fuel pump, so I'm going to disconnect this line, put the real one on. Alright, now we're going to see if we can get some gas through the fuel pump. Go for it, Noah. Hold on. Okay. Yep. So that's going to be it on the 68 Cougar for now. Um, got it running. And if you guys think that I did it the wrong way, don't worry. I, I uh, did some steps off camera. I changed the spark plugs, uh, put some stuff in the cylinders to help lubricate it. Um, I did all the stuff necessary. And yeah, it's good to go. Uh, it should start working. I got to uh, tune the carb. A little bit because the idle's at around 2200 uh, needs to be closer to a thousand um, I need throttle linkage before I can start driving it and brake lines and hydraulic power steering lines and uh, that's about it and I'm about to wash it so you'll see that in another video thanks guys and uh, remember trying to get 250 subscribers by the end of the year so if you can help me out on that but like, comment, subscribe, and uh, tell me what you think. Or if you have a name for the old uh, cougar, let me know down in the comments. Thanks, guys.